what you got. What you got? Huh? Oh, down there. I see him, but I, I can't do the trees. He's landing in school. Well, there's the other one right there. He's close now. Tell you one thing, people. To get up here to this cemetery in Glenwood Springs to see Doc Holliday's grave, you gotta be part billy goat. It's about a half a mile hike, and it's all uphill at an elevation of about 7,500 feet or more. Who's this guy? Somebody by the name of Reynolds died in 1907. Who else is there? Rowden, 1912. Have no idea. Somebody took the set of headstones. Doc Holliday is not really buried back there at the monument where we were filming. He's somewhere up here, they say. But all the history that I read said that there was too much snow and ice on the hill for the horses to get him up here. So they planted him down there. And we're going to wait until everything thawed, then dig him up and move him up here. Now, whether that really happened or not, I don't have any idea. I'm just telling you what I read. Oh, here's somebody here. Somebody by the name of Ella, our mother, Ella T. Harris, 1856 to 1888. The oldest grave that we found was in a little town called Rico, Colorado, just before you get into Telluride, and found a 1882 gravestone there. Most everybody in that cemetery, we, I took pictures of it, but most everybody in that cemetery died between the ages of 20 and 25. For the men and the women were between 30 and 35. I don't know what brought all that on. And they had one kid in there that was 12 years, 6 months, and some odd whatever days. I'm just kind of walking around in the cemetery here. Now I don't even remember what the name of this place is. That bites. There's an 1891, see? 20 years, 3 months. Everyone 50 years.
here's a baby. One month and 21 days. 45 years. Uh, I don't know if there's any grays up that way or not. If you want to know when you come in and get the Doc Holliday's marker sign that says where his marker is at, instead of turning left, turn right. I'm not going up there. I'm tired and I'm huffing and puffing. Doesn't appear to be anybody up there anyway. 1932. Here's a big one. Schwartz. Lewis Schwartz was 1917, 1854 to 1917. It doesn't say anything on this. Well, now that's a rip. We had to walk and there's a road for the historical society to drive up. That bites. There's looking back down into the cemetery. That's Glenwood Springs. That's part of Glenwood Springs over there. I'll walk back over here. Maybe you can see it a little better. I didn't look at this stuff. 1912. This is July 23, 1911. This was put in by his friend. And this was an of a uh, seller. He died at age 28. His wife died at age 22 doesn't say what the age of their child was, so evidently the child wasn't born when she died. I wonder what happened there. Wow, that was like a big old castle over there. Uh, I just about bet there's a lot more people buried in here than is actually known. The Jones family. 1888, died September 23. Nobody's at 52 years. So I guess you got to do the math to figure out when he was born. Shouldn't be too difficult for some of you. Those that are, get a calculator. Let's go see who this is. Byron. Magnell. Sam Hendra. Magnell. Baby Magnell, 1906, huh? Anna, 1859-1895. James, 1855-1907. Oh, here's something different. Oh, here's an old lady. Uh, Susan Funk Jones died August 7, 1934 at 87 years old. That's the oldest one in here. These cedar trees are tearing my allergies up. Here's one here. No idea what's in here except that evergreen.
Peter, 79 years of age, died in 18, uh, like 1891, I believe, December 1891. Uh, no clue who's in here. Here's something. Somebody must be under this. Well, can't read it. There's a lot of graves in the early 1900s. Here's uh, Joe J. Bender, 1848 to 1888. This must be his wife, Katie, 1846 to 1917. June 1, 1887, looks like 67 years old, Davidson. Must be a baby over there in that little bitty wire thing. I just now saw it. Are you videoing? Yeah. Huh? Like a gig Ah. Yeah, that's got to be a baby. get to digging we'll find out huh is that that's not the trail right there is it uh, well you got the fence there so. oh the fence uh, yeah yeah on that side i went walking down there with some huge huge green storage things I saw on the oh yeah i saw those uh, and i got you some pictures of the guy landing from that side down oh the other one oh well there's still one up there over the top of the tree there there's one gliding. I guess the, I know I ain't getting in that kite. Well, I'm going to shut it off. 